Hey everybody, Kelly Chameleon here, I ride an electric unicycle. I forgot to film an intro, so I actually already did my ride today, uh, but this is my intro. <laughs> um, I haven't posted, I've been posted very much lately um, because I've been trying to get stuff edited. I've got a bunch of videos in the queue from last summer, um, but I have a little bit of like creative block with them, so I'm just going to post what I have now um, and get this video out for you guys since it's snowy and I know y'all have been curious about people riding in the snow. Uh, Real quick, though, I've got a lot of stuff in the works. I've got some review videos coming up. I just moved into a new place with a workshop, so I'm going to be doing some repair videos. I'm going to do a shell swap on my 18XL, controller swap on a V8. Um, I've got some review videos for the V11, review video for the EXN and the RS. Um, all these things are going to be coming soon, so be sure to like, subscribe, uh, stay tuned for all of that. And uh, yeah, so today we're gonna ride up to Table Rock. Uh, I'm in Boise, Idaho, um, and I really wanted to come up here and check it out. So even though the trail is all snowed out, um, I've got the RS with the knobby tire, high torque, and uh, we're gonna see how she does up this snowy trail. So let's go. Riding in the snow. Um, <laughs> this is a new experience, and oh, we're gonna see how it goes. So I can get up to this place. Okay. Clark pedals seem to be doing really well in the snow. So here we go. We're doing pretty good. It's a lot like it's a lot like riding through sand, um, except for crunchier. Okay, we made it like 40 feet. All right, let's go. all the way up in my toes um, trying to stay on this thing but we're doing it I'm not cold oh. okay we're gonna take a break the other question too is like is this harder um, with a stick in my hand it's probably um, but I do this for you oh, okay here we go but like for real Clark puddles like with the honeycomb and cutouts it's really helpful right now because I'm not getting a bunch of snow caught up. Alright, let's go.
at the map, see even how far I am. Whew, I don't know, going down is going to be interesting. Probably easier, maybe. Really don't know. Okay, we still have a little ways to go. <laughs> that little is where I'm getting. That's where I started. I'm like halfway, but it's less steep from here. So. A little bit from the oh god, oh god, okay. All right. Oh, shit, man. Let's go. Take a second, I'm so close though. Right there. Okay, we're so close. It's all gonna be worth it. We're gonna see the whole area. I'm actually from Boise. Um, I moved away about 10 years ago. Um, I haven't been back to this spot here in oh, over 15 years. So I was like, nothing's gonna stop me. I'm going to do it. So, the challenge that I'm doing, no matter what. I'm so close now.
So, I came here a few times growing up, and uh, I never really thought anything of it. I always thought the cross was a little weird. Um, very imperialistic. Um, but I just saw on Google that this is actually um, a sacred place for indigenous people, so I'm going to look up um, some of the history about this mesa and uh, share with you guys what I learned. I have looked on Wikipedia to find out, um, and this is the land uh, that was sacred to the northern Shoshone tribes. Um, they used this plateau as a lookout. There's a bunch of caves and hot springs around it too, um, and they used it as a ceremonial meeting place. Um, they found a bunch of artifacts, including obsidian knives, um, beads and bracelets and other things that indicate that this was a sacred place for the indigenous people who were here. Interestingly enough, this cross is also super controversial. Um, it was built by like a small group and there's been a bunch of weird things. I guess the ACLU tried to get rid of it at one point. It's interesting to me that it's on top of, um, you know, sacred grounds, which I guess makes sense because America. Um, but yeah, this was a very important place to the Shoshone tribe. So yeah, I mean, this is a really cool spot. I'm glad to learn a little bit more about the history here. Uh, apparently there's really beautiful sunsets. I'm a little early for sunset, unfortunately, um, but I wish I could stay up here. I'm not staying up here for that long because it's like only like two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I have to be up here for like three or four hours and I'm just not doing that. Nor do I want to like try to ride down this hill um, once it's dark. So. Just gonna take in the view for a little bit longer and then we're gonna go back down the snow path <laughs> and see how hard it is to get down this hill. All right, let's go. Ahead. trying to stay in the snow pack because it's whew, it is it's comfortable to get into those banks. I just gotta say, so snow is it doable? Yes. Do I recommend it? Probably not. I know that there's a lot of risks with your battery getting this cold. Oh, also the moisture. <sighs> but you know, you're an enthusiast and you're bored <sighs> and you want to like just have a little thrill, I'd say go for it. <laughs> uh, at least snow is a little bit softer than pavement, so there is that. Uh, does seem like going down is a bit easier. <laughs> Try not to get too cocky here. also just like blinded right now like it is so bright uh, but if I put my visor down it gets real foggy um I think I got this really <sighs> save this a couple times it is hard man all right we have like probably feels like not even like a mile probably like it's like a, probably like a quarter mile but god does it feel like a long way to go here we go we're, we're doing it together let's do it Yes, would that have been easier? Probably. We don't do things easy. 
easy way. Give them the exciting way. I'm going right way. Holy shit. Oh, I'm just being absolutely blinded. That didn't help. And, uh, you know, obligatory, if you like my channel, please like, subscribe, notifications, all that stuff. Um, yeah, <laughs> got hella videos for you guys. I know it's been a minute and I have a bunch of stuff from the summertime that I have not put out yet. Uh, because, you know, editing is hard. <sighs> so this is probably going to get posted before a lot of that stuff. But uh, I think it's just going to be out of order and that's fine. <sighs> here we go, here we go, here we go. And so... Gotta follow my track. how much harder it was going up. I thought that was going to take me way longer to get down this one. Look at those Clark pedals, just, oh, no snow sticking to them. Hype on the Clark pedals. Thank you, Clark Pads, for making some awesome pedals. Oh, links, links for all the things. Use my codes, I get a commission. It helps me make videos. I appreciate it. Or don't use them, it's fine. I still recommend the shit out of me. <laughs> Here we go. Take a hundred something. <laughs> Getting a little squirrely on me. <laughs> that was tight. Can I make it all the way back to the street without having to? I did it. <laughs> Holy shit, that was a workout indeed. Oh, so, uh, I'm gonna sign off and uh, catch you guys later. I've been Kelly Chameleon, up in the snow. I got a lot of videos for you guys in the queue, so uh, just be patient. I'll get them out. Um, got a lot of stuff from the summertime, so got some review videos too coming up. So stay tuned. I'll be back later.